Hello all my beautiful Geminis and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you may be on this beautiful planet we reside in. Today's video is going to be your March 2019 reading and as usual messages are general so they may or may not resonate. If they don't, kick them to the curb because they're not for you and if they do, be sure to let me, <clears throat> excuse me guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It'd be much appreciated, guys. Alright, so let's get right into it. Spirit, what's the most recent past from my Geminis? Ooh, snap. Most recent past for my Geminis. Please. March 2019. Oh, that one definitely wanted to flip. Mm -hmm. Damn, all right. Holy crapolas. Okay, so we got the star, ten of swords, and ten of wands. So the energy that I'm really picking up here, um, not only is it heavy, heavy energy, but I feel as if um, you guys are going through so much stuff right now all at once. Like everything is just hitting you all at once. That the reason the star cards here is you are wishing for this pain to go away. You're wishing for all of the stress to go away. You're wishing for, you know, a, to the universe to lighten the load on you a bit. Because I mean, with both the Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands, you're just, you're feeling defeated, man. You're just exhausted, you know. Everything's hitting you all at once, and it doesn't seem like it can get any worse, and then it does, you know, something else happens, and it's just like another blow to the gut here. I mean, it's like you're, it, it's... The, the visual that I got is you're basically the universe's punching bag is what you guys are feeling like. So you're kind of just like you're wishing and praying and hoping for, you know, some relief here um, to lighten this burden, lighten the stress. You know, you're just wanting a break. Whew. Oh, okay, I was not ready for that. Sorry. All right, what's in the present moment for my Geminis? What's in the present? Okay, here we go. They're telling me to leave that one in reverse. Present moment for my Geminis, please. Okay, nope, oh, they're saying leave that in reverse too. Holy crap, that's uh interesting they usually don't <clears throat> if anything you know they only tell me to leave one card in reverse but they're telling me to leave two in reverse which it's kind of crazy here so we got the judgment card so what is happening to you is definitely very karmic right now this could be um karma sneaking up you uh, up on you from um the past and things that you did in the past that weren't necessarily in somebody's best interest or your best interest. Um, this could also, for some of you, be karma from a past life as well. That's kind of a smaller group of you. Um, but I'm definitely feeling more so karma from this life and um, decisions and actions you had made that um, not only affected you, but affected a lot of other people as well. So this is kind of your karma for that. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress in reverse. So with this, I'm really getting, um, there's definitely an imbalance happening within you. Um, I feel as if you're more in the masculine side of things with the Empress in reverse um, here. You're more in the masculine type of thinking, very logical, straight to the point, straightforward, but also... Um, not really seeing the positives in this situation and not seeing as to why this is actually happening to you. It's kind of like a, I'm almost getting like a self-pity party vibe here. Um, which, you know, I mean, you've got a lot going on and, you know, a lot of things are happening to you all at once. You know, it's kind of hard to um, not get into that vibe of, 
oh, why is this happening to me? Like, what did I do to deserve this? Um, but at the same time, you know, karma only gives you what you deserve type thing. And once the karma is over, you know, you can you start over with a clean slate. So, yeah, definitely everything that's happening right now to you is definitely a karma thing from things you did in your past in this life for a small group of you. It is from previous past lives. Okay, I was not... Okay, figure out what I'm doing here. I was not ready for that. What is in the most likely outcome for my Geminis? Okay. Most likely outcome for my Gemini's March 2019, please. And there we go. All right. So it does get better. I am seeing that for your most likely outcome. It is going to get better for you guys. Um, basically what I'm picking up here is with the Two of Wands and the Five of Swords, you're definitely going to make the decision to get out of this lower vibration. You're going to make the decision to get out of the self-pity party vibe and really look at why this is happening to you and not from like an ego standpoint. Um, you are going to be asking for help as well with the Three of Pentacles, whether this is from family or friends, this could also be from your guides or higher self. You're definitely going to be seeking out guidance and help to get you out of this um, negative and low vibration. And it is going to be a conscious decision on your part here with the Two of Wands. But yeah, and then with the Five of Wands, you are going to see victory. I mean, the Five of Wands is about victory sometimes. Um, it's about victory in a not a good sense, but I'm not really getting that vibe from this. Um, but you are definitely going to make a conscious decision to get out of this lower vibration and really start focusing on raising your vibration into a more positive light. And you will be asking for help to do this because um, it is definitely something you feel that you can't do alone. So yes, we're going to get your advice card as usual and remember that this could have something to do with your reading not necessarily it is just whatever spirit would like you to know when you are watching this video a couple shuffles here one more all right spirit what advice do you have for my gemini's march 2019 what advice do you have for my Gemini's March 2019? Ooh, buried in here. Buried in here somewhere. There we go. There it is. All right, you got forbidden. So with this, what I'm really picking up on is um, definitely don't try to shortcut things. Um, don't try to uh, basically skip past the healing or skip past what uh, needs to be addressed within yourself. Um, also, don't skip past, you know, what needs to be learned from this karmic situation. Um... Basically, what they're saying is, you know, don't shortcut anything. Yeah, it may be hard realizations. Um, it may be hard for you to face your past, but you can't keep running from it as well. It needs to be faced and it needs to be addressed is uh, what Spirit's saying. So that is your March 2019 reading for all you beautiful Geminis. If this resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Much love to you guys. Mwah.